Art Pop is so close, we can practically taste it. More and more news is coming out every day regarding the release of Art Pop, and what better place to hear it all than right here on my channel. So Gaga calls the stir in the social media world after her Twitter account went on lockdown on the 4th of July last week. Gaga's Twitter photo has been changed to an egg and her bio was changed too. This interface has been shut down temporarily. Please check back for updates. Following this, Gaga was also deleting a lot of her tweets that same day. Her littlemonsters.com profile was also changed as her photo was changed to what appears to be a blank photo of a canvas. What could this mean? Well, this could mean a whole number of things, but one of the main things that people think it could mean is that it is Gaga's rebirth. The, the, symbol, the symbol of the egg on her Twitter account could mean that she's gone back into hibernation like she did before the Grammys performance of Born This Way, and she's gonna hatch when Art Pop is about to release. This is her rebirth. This is her rising from the ashes. As the end of the Marry the Night video, her final single, she did have herself in flames, which could represent the rising of the phoenix, as the phoenix rises through the ashes. This is what it could represent. I'm kind of guessing that it's going this way too. Adding on to this, the whole littlemonsters.com profile, the blank canvas. If you, if you all remember in, in one of her interviews during the Born This Way era, Gaga said that before she starts an era, she always starts with a blank canvas. So this is exactly what it could mean. The whole deleting her, twi her Twitter so it's a fresh um, page, getting rid of her Twitter profile picture so it's a fresh um, start, and also her Little Monsters account, putting the blank canvas on as a little clue to what she said in that interview. This would all make sense in my opinion. I have a feeling that she's going to come back and her first picture that she uploads as her profile picture is going to be something to do with Art Pop. But if you ask me, I think Art Pop is pretty imminent. Other forms of social media meltdown that Gaga caused on the 4th of July. She hijacked her best friend Lady Starlight's Facebook page and she was writing to her fans and she was, um, talking, she was commenting on the fans saying that Art Pop is coming soon and that she shouldn't have hijacked her friend's Twitter and Facebook account. She's gonna be mad, right? But then there was also a couple of other things. Joe Calderon, the Twitter account which has, which has been inactive for a long time, also started tweeting Art Pop lyrics. It also tweeted a smiley face, which Gaga Daily also tweeted. What could all this mean? Gaga tweeted the smiley face a while ago. All of this is linking together. Something is happening. She certainly did cause a social media meltdown that day. The little monsters, including myself, went crazy. We all thought Art Pop was going to come that day, but something's coming. I can feel it. Another rumour as to why Gaga shut her Twitter down revolves around a supposed lawsuit against Gaga. An ongoing lawsuit between her two producers, Starland, and Gaga's ex-boyfriend, Rob Fusari, who are battling between who discovered Gaga. Gaga has filed a legal request to seal certain details of the lawsuit from emerging, as it could inflict significant personal or professional harm to Gaga. Sources say the judge has yet to rule on Gaga's request, but how true this is, we don't know. Gaga made her first public appearance since her surgery. She appeared at the New York Pride 2013 where she gave a touching speech and sang the US national anthem with a twist. I've put a link down below to the performance in the comments. It was her first major appearance since her surgery and it was definitely for a good cause. She really knew when to come back during the whole dome up being overpassed and she really did pull through. Um, she looked absolutely gorgeous in a plain black all-in-one outfit. Very classy. Could she be sticking with the Tony Bennett album theme like I said in my last Art Pop video? Or could this be the blank canvas thing I mentioned earlier? I mean, she has been dressing very classy and very plain, like nothing to do with Art Pop, nothing over the top, nothing outrageous. So this kind of might be a little blank start for her. What do you guys think? And finally, I'm going to leave you guys with a few quick-fire Art Pop rumours. Number one, Gaga is rumoured to perform her first single from Art Pop at the 2013 VMAs on August 25th. Number two, Troy Carter's supposed Twitter account tweeted on the 5th of July that there is a big comeback soon and an announcement. Fact number three, the latest Interscope press email to Billboard supposedly ended by saying, Coming soon, Lady Gaga. Final fact number four, the Art Pop app. Nothing solid has been released on the app just yet, but there is a little hunch going around. 
For those of you that might remember, Gaga was seen going into Apple headquarters during the Born This Way era. What she was going in there for, nobody knows. But the hunch going round is that Gaga's Art Pop app might, she might have struck a deal with Apple to release the Art Pop app exclusively with Apple. And that's the end of this Lady Gaga Art Pop Rumours video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, Little Mont says, let me know down in the comments if there are any rumours that I might have missed or ones that I might not even know yet. Let me know down in the comments and also give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video. Keep the requests coming. One thing I'm going to do with this little segment of my video sometimes, I have a few Little Monster friends who are very talented, i.e. drawers or singers. I'm going to use this part of the video to like showcase some of their work. So up here, as they've been scrolling this whole time, I have some artwork from a really good Little Monster friend of mine. Um, check out his um, artwork, I've put a link down to his Twitter down below, check them out. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, stay tuned for the next video and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Hey everyone, it's the end of one of my videos and as usual I always recap some of my older ones. Over here, check out my previous Lady Gaga Art Pop Rumours video, over there. Up here, check out my Ellie Goulding Burn single review, give that single a chance because Ellie Goulding really does deserve it. And over here, check out my Kylie Minogue skirt single review. I know I keep going on about that one, but definitely listen to it because that is an amazing song. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep the requests coming, and I'll be back with some more videos soon. Bye!